Bob, they've got to spot. Will you sign in, please, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Reggie Westerby, is that right? <laughs> All right. Now you stay right here with me. We are what they say of a height, aren't we? <clears throat> We're of a height. Would you be good enough to tell me where you uh, come from? I come from South Dakota. South Dakota? Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice of you to have come this far, and I hate to make you take another journey, but I have one brief journey for you to take. Would you walk down in front of the panel for me, please? I'm slowly past here. <laughs> May I see your hands, please? Thank you. All right, Miss Westby, will you come over here and sit down next to me and on the basis of your handwriting and that slow walk that you took down in front of the panel and Mr. Block. At this point, we give them one free guess as to what your line may be, and we'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she's a farmer. A farmer? Mr. Sir. I think she's international spy number XY621. <laughs> Miss Francis. Well, for the marvelous shape of her brows, I think she models eyeglasses. Mr. Block. Well, I don't know whether she came in on a whistle stop, but if she did, I'd never stop whistling. <laughs> well, nobody has the right answer. We'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Miss Westerby, and at the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. But the panel's going to have to dig. <laughs> Every time you can get a no answer out of the panel, it will cost them five dollars, ten no's, and you have won the game. We'll give them one more bit of help. Miss Westerby is self-employed. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Miss Francis. Uh, do your unusual looks have anything to do with the job that you hold? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Block. Do you, uh, by any chance, deal in a product? Yes. Is it something that's, uh, that you might use? Yes. Well, <laughs> is it something that uh, maybe uh, many women use? Yes, many yes. women use it. Does it make them more attractive to men? Uh, there are circumstances under which it might be said it makes them more attractive to men, yes. Is it something that might be worn? Yes. yes. Would be worn from the waist up? Um, <clears throat> yes, from the waist up. Yes, it could be worn from the waist up. Yeah. Well, is it worn below the, uh, below the neck? Yes. Is it ever worn close to the skin? Yes. Well, does it stretch and have string? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Gilgal. Uh, is this anything that men might wear, too? Yes. Would men wear it in the same place that women would wear it? <laughs> well, on occasion, they might, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, would they ever wear it for the same reason? For the same reason? Mm-hmm. Yes, there would be occasions when they'd yes. wear it for the same reason. Uh, does this cover a relatively small area? Yes. Is it, uh, is it opaque? I beg your pardon. <laughs> is it usually non-transparent? I would say that uh, it's usually non-transparent, non yes. Uh, can it be made of different things? Can it be made of different things? Mm -hmm. I would make it three down and no. seven to oh, go. Mr. Sir. Miss Westerby, uh, when this is worn, uh, is it visible to uh, passers-by? Sometimes. Only sometimes? Yes, there are occasions when it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Am I correct in assuming that this object is not apparel? Yes, you are correct in assuming that this object is not apparel. Would it possibly be in the line of decoration, like jewelry or costume jewelry? Sometimes? Yes, it could be in the line it could of be used decoration. As decoration? Yes. Yeah. Is it, uh, does it sometimes contain a pearl or precious stone? Uh, yes, it sometimes contains a pearl or precious stone. Could this be bought in a jewelry store? Well, we're having fun, aren't we? Just a minute, small conference. <laughs> Quit getting so close to her. <laughs> 
Yeah. We've... <laughs> yeah, sometimes you could get it in a jewelry store. Would it be on sale in other kinds of stores as well? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I bet we're ten miles away from this thing, <laughs> by the way you're answering. Well, if you're would not, you I am. That's would you <laughs> call this a luxury product? Mm. Oh, yes. yes it's, it's not uh, necessary to the sustenance of life. Uh, usually uh, indulged in only by prosperous people? Mm. No. no. I'm no, glad I was to get off. <laughs> I'm afraid I was trying to head that off. We have to give you no answer on that. That's four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Is this creative, this job of yours? Is it creative? That would make it five down and five to go, And I it's got say. pearls in it? <laughs> well, we were talking about a basic product. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Block. Does it uh, come in different sizes? <laughs> yes. And uh, do you, do you uh, need any special kind of talent to work it? <laughs> Things are getting real rough. I think it's only fair to tell you. Uh, I think we would have to admit that uh, it doesn't, <laughs> don't you? I don't think it takes a special talent to work it. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, is this worn by ordinary people who are not in some special kind of theatrical costume? Yes. Uh, is it ever worn by people who are traveling? Yes. Do they put things in it? No. I don't think so. No, I don't think you can put things in this. Seven down and three to go. I'm going to give you one more minute to get it, Mr. Sir. Mr. Westerby, has this got anything to do, by any chance, with mining operations? Uh, yes. Does this uh, product that, uh, a, a basic product involved in this, like gold? Yes. Is it gold? Yes. Yes. Now, all I have to do is find out what you do with the gold. Yes. Well, I can't believe you're a miner, are you? Yes. <laughs> A mine at Spearfish, South Dakota, and she has some holdings down in Arizona and gets down there and really works in the diggings herself. Yes, Miss Kilgallen. May I respectfully suggest that Miss Westerly is much more suited for gold digging than gold mining? Miss <laughs> 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 Westerly, you better stay away from George Jessel. He's always interested in miners. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Westerly, you gave them a pretty tough run for it, and it's awfully nice to have had you as our guest in West Good night. All right, let's see.